Hey guys, I want to say happy Father's Day. This is going to be my Father's Day video. So I first want to uh, just give a really big happy Father's Day to my dad. He, though, has been having a hard time with my transition and everything. He's still standing by me and he's really trying to understand and trying to be there and trying to be supportive and work through this transition that he's going through along with my transition. And he's just always been there for me. He's my hero and I'm lucky enough to, you know, look at him every day as the one who's always stood by me, the one who will always st stand by me and love me no matter, you know, who I am and what I need as long as you know, I'm true to myself and not hurting anybody or myself, you know, he's, he's going to be there to support me. And that's really, you know, showing up and being there for me. That is what an awesome dad does. And, you know, a lot of people get disappointed by their heroes when they meet them. They say, you know, don't meet your heroes. But my dad has not disappointed me. Overall, he's just incredible, and uh, just wanted to say that. So, thanks, Dad, for being awesome, and happy Father's Day. Um, and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Uh, you know, we should be celebrating any parent, really, that is supportive and amazing, especially in the trans community. I mean, it's, it's hard. It's a transition for them as well, so to have their support is really incredible and not everybody gets that so you know every day that our parents are there for us we should be celebrating them and letting them know that we love them I want to actually mention that sort of leads into the fact that I actually really have a big problem with you know Mother's Day and Father's Day just because you know as somebody who uh, has identified as non-binary and knows a lot of people who are non-binary and, you know, they're, they're people in same-sex couples that they just have different words and nicknames associated with them. They don't necessarily feel like, you know, what society views as a mother or a father. They don't want to use that term. And it doesn't mean that they shouldn't be celebrated. Um, I really just feel kind of like it's a Hallmark holiday. And obviously, you know, I... I was raised with it, and I celebrate it because I do have, you know, two binary parents, and, you know, it, it fits along uh, those lines, but it kind of makes me feel really icky that, you know, these two days exist because there are all sorts of parents out there, and there are, you know, people who parent us. Not everybody has, you know, typical mom and dad. You know, I'm not even just talking about... Um, same-sex, you know, relationships or non-binary relationships and parents. I'm talking about, you know, you could be parented by your grandmother, by a godfather, by, you know, somebody else close to you who, who takes care of you and loves you financially, physically, emotionally, um, who raised you. That, that could be, you know, n endless types of people. So um, it's rather limiting. And I kind of wish that there was just, like, a general Parents' Day. And as I said, we should be celebrating our parents every day, that they're supportive and there for us and here. Because uh, life is short, and, you know, they, they're they the ones that keep us going and raised us, and, mm -hmm. you know, they should just really all be celebrated. So that's my little rant on that. Um, but now I want to talk about, actually... <laughs> The realization this day has really just kind of brought this realization to me and this excitement of you know the future of me being a father uh, actually when I was deciding whether I was going to physically transition the one thing that was holding me back initially was the fact that I had always wanted to give birth naturally and that even though I'm a trans man I sort of, from a very young age, just saw myself as a mother. I was very maternal, and it's been a really big emotional battle for me to um, 
you know, in several things to one, go over that hoop and, and decide that I wasn't going to naturally have children, that I was able to let go of that mother role. I've taken a lot of time to kind of distinguish, you know, these differences between mom and dad and, and realizing that, you know, both can be incredible and are equal and it really depends on the person. And regardless of whether I have children naturally and I decide to, you know, be a seahorse, as they say, uh, which I don't see myself doing, um, you know, or adopting or having a partner who might have, I mean, depending on who I end up with, uh, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. But the point is that, um, you know, uh, the point is that I should be a good parent and that I want to be a good parent and today has really made me get excited about this idea of, of being a father and being a father figure and what that means to me uh, versus what society tells me. And it, it's really just more that I guess today I am starting to really internalize that paternal role that I will have and instead of just working through it and trying to accept it, actually being really excited to be a dad and what that means to me and you know especially being around my dad and how great he is you know wanting to emulate that um you know those those good aspects of parenting when I'm a father and I was kind of like at brunch today with the family thinking about like oh how exciting it's gonna be when you know my brother me and my dad you know all then eventually having children just celebrating Father's Day together with our families. I don't know. It's just like, I guess I've, it's more than I, more than making peace with the idea of not being a mother. It's just really being excited and, uh, you know, just accepting and, and being open to this role that is equal in importance. And I make it whatever I want to make it, but just, you know, the, there are, I guess, um, you know, stereotypical differences, but I think it's, it's really just, you know, being the fact that I'm a trans man and masculine presenting, that is, a father is how I would identify, uh, if I had kids, which I intend to, so, uh, one day, so yeah. Um, that is my Father's Day spiel, and I hope that all of you are, um, who are lucky enough to have supportive masculine influences in your life, who are parenting you, celebrate them today, celebrate them every day, tell them you love them, and how much you appreciate their support, because it's so valuable and helpful to have that family support, so... Happy Father's Day, guys, and happy Father Day, Father's Day to all of the, the dads out there. All right, catch you later.